Hello, this is Dr. Munsell. I am enlightening you. See? Sorry about that. I'm at uh, Independence Hall. This is where the Declaration of Independence uh, was signed and all that jazz. Um, and uh, sort of interesting context uh, with all the stuff that's going on. But what I wanted to do is to give you a little bit of an online lecture here from this uh, this place uh, about issues of the semiotics and so this will be very very brief because I'm sort of embarrassed um, that I'm standing here doing this and there's people around me um, and I got my LSU sweatshirt on uh, because I'm also running around trying to get a run in but in any case um, I do have a new PowerPoint up uh, that I quickly made uh, because of this context and uh, the, that semiotics and uh, for those folks who took my persuasion class, none of this would be new, but I thought it'd be sort of cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna go around this way. So, I don't know if you can, can you see that? The Liberty Bell is right behind me. And so, uh, a few things that I have on the uh, slides, uh, talking about semiotics, just very generally, um, base, base stuff is a joke. Um, but uh, when we talk about semiotics as sort of a theory, what we're thinking about is how things come to mean and oftentimes we think in terms of signs. What a sign is, not like you know, a sign to tell you that there's a sale of pennies, but um, a sign is sort of a uh, something that refers to something it is not. So for instance, I have a, an example of a, the word chair it stands for an actual chair. That's a sign, right? There's no reason necessarily that that word, well, I'll get to that later, but a sign is something that stands for something that it is not. Um, so, uh, one thing that we need to realize is that oftentimes there's no sort of correct um, or, or, or legitimate reason, I don't know, that that's the wrong term, why something refers to something else. For instance, the, the chicken scratch, that is C-H-A-I-R, why does it mean chair? We just sort of threw, um, we have contrived that arbitrarily, we have sort of figured out what we built that, or agreed that that's what that means. Um, so in any case. A lot of this stuff is arbitrary and contrived. Look at all the kiddos. Lots of people here. Sunshine. Sunshine. On my shoulder makes me happy. Okay. Um, so, uh, so when we're thinking about semiotics, generally we think in terms of three different types of meaning. Uh, we think in terms. Uh, oh, by the way, signals are just things that oftentimes like smoke means. Um, and symbols are completely and utterly arbitrary. You know, why should this thing stand for this thing? And so, uh, so generally, when we're thinking about semiotics, we're thinking about three different types of, of meaning, three different layers of meaning: iconic, indexical, and symbolic. Uh, iconic uh, means that the sign sort of resembles itself. I think the example I have on PowerPoint: the horns uh, sort of look like the devil, um, and indexical is sort of the causal association. Um, so. For instance, uh, uh, what I have in there, something like uh, oftentimes uh, a Muslim sounding name or a visual uh, refers or associated with terrorism is problematic, but that's sort of how things mean. Um, and then symbolic is just as completely and utterly um, arbitrary, like the Confederate flag or something like that. So, if you can see that, I might take you through the, the Liberty Bell tour here in a second. Um, but I put a little thing about the Liberty Bell because uh, it is a symbolic sort of sign um, that meant to, uh, means a lot of different things. But it's just a damn bell, right? Uh, but particularly abolitionists used it, and so I'll take you through that thing. Um, but just the big picture here is how can you use this? Because this could be um, be verbal, could be visual. But think in terms of visual symbols. Um, how could you, in your own sort of campaign project, use visual symbols in a strategic way? Um, the Liberty Bell, the American flag, uh, Statue of Liberty, any of that type of stuff. And how did that, and then consciously sort of critically reflect on how does that stuff sort of mean anything at all? But in any case, uh, hopefully this was somewhat helpful in the, in the five minutes and it gives you a, a live sort of lecture from Philadelphia. Go team, America, USA.